We have one last completing the square problem. x squared plus 3x plus 1. Remember our goal is x plus something squared plus something else. Got myself a, a nice handy eraser here for this example. So I want to put something in here. Let's call it spade. I just, I was inspired by this card over here. Spade and um, diamond. I don't have a diamond handy. So we have spade and diamond are our um, numbers. So these are the two numbers that we're going for. And we want to figure out this guy has to be such that when I square this, I have x squared plus double the product of these. So that's spade x. So it's 2 times whatever that is, x. Plus, and then I'm going to square the spade. So that's my, I don't really need this parenthesis over here plus whatever this diamond is. So these guys, that's just the number. And that's the number one, which is not pretty because we're going to square something and add something else and we're going to get the sweet little innocent one. I don't know. And then we've got this guy that's supposed to give us 3x, so Two times the spades gives us three. Oh Lord. So two times what is three? Well that's one and a half, or I'm gonna fill in here three halves and make a note over here. Two times one point five equals three. So this is the multiplication symbol. Two times one point five is three, so that's three halves. So if, if the spades is 3 halves, this is then 3 halves squared plus oh, this diamond. Yipes. 3 halves squared is 9 fourths plus something. Well, this all has to end up being 1. Good heavens. Fractions. So our diamond and I'm writing sideways. Sorry, tilt a little bit here. Our diamond is 1 minus 9 fourths. So I need a, a common denominator. 4 fourths, luckily, 1's good with that. 4 fourths minus 9 fourths, so that's negative 5 fourths. So that's what our diamond is. Oh, and look, I totally forgot to fill in the this guy was 3 halves. And the diamond is negative 5 fourths. Goodness. So this guy is 3 halves and this is negative 5 fourths. And get in there and erase. How cool is that? So this is the completed square of this guy. And we can of course multiply it out to check that. I ran out of space over here, so um, I will let check left to viewer. So it's up to you to check that and confirm it, and that's completing the square.